Hi guys, it's Danny. So good news, I just received three Phalaenopsis orchids from my boyfriend's dad as a sort of a welcome present. They're really pretty and actually my boyfriend really likes Phalaenopsis so I was intending on buying them anyway. But since I got them, I'm really happy because they're not your usual and typical Phalaenopsis. They are actually really pretty and one of them is fragrant, the yellow one. And I cannot believe that it's quite strong. So I'm happy to have them, but as I look at them, I see we have some problems. So I decided to make a video, show you what's wrong with them and how to act on it. So at a first glance, we can see that the leaves have some issues. They are not stiff, they're kind of leathery and limpy. It's quite easy to tell that there's something wrong with them. And this is a clear sign of dehydration. Now dehydration can be caused by two things. One, not enough water. Obviously, if the orchid does not receive water, it will dehydrate in time. And second, if the roots are actually missing or they are dead in the pot. On this particular one, it seems that I also have a sunburn. Do you see the discoloration on the leaf? That is actually a clear sign of sunburn. It's not very extensive, but I'm guessing these orchids have sat in the sun a bit too much. Looking at the roots, they don't seem to be dead in the pot. They actually seem to be doing pretty well, so I suspect my orchids are actually dehydrated due to the lack of watering, combined with sitting in the sun a bit too much for their liking. Now it's time to check the stem of the orchid and also the crown. I'm looking for dark patches which indicate rotting in the crown and also in the stem. Luckily, I don't think my orchids have any issues because there are no dark patches, everything looks green, just slightly dehydrated. So that's a very good sign. I'd rather have dehydration than rotting. So my orchids are just a little bit neglected, time to hydrate them. To do so, I need a container. I can use a decorative container made for orchids or whatever bowl fits the orchid pot. I'll place water inside to the brim of the plastic pot, trying not to get the stem of the orchid submerged and also the joints of the leaves. Keep the water level at the brim of the pot. Now it's time to check for pests. Get a cotton disc, soak it in a little water and run it on the underside of the leaves. Usually we don't clean the underside of the leaves because they have the breathing mechanisms, but for this purpose it's okay if you do it rarely. Now look on the disc. If you see tiny little red dots, you're in trouble. Those are spider mites. But it appears that my orchids are pretty clean. So I can go ahead and clean the upper side of the leaves as well. If you find that the white deposits don't come off, you can use lime juice. The acid will dissolve the deposits. Now my orchids are pretty okay. They don't have salt deposits. After 10 or 15 minutes of soaking, my orchid should be hydrated enough, although it's gonna take a few days for you to notice any difference. Now you can leave the orchid to properly drain on a separate tray. It's really important that the orchid does not stay soggy either. Just discard whatever water is left after soaking. Now I can properly take a look at the root system. It really doesn't look bad. 90% of the roots have greened up. This is a good sign. If they were dead, they will look yellow and really papery. Live roots will green up when you water them. So I've checked all of my orchids and I don't seem to have any rotting issues. They're just very dehydrated. And also, I do believe they set in the sun a bit too much. Take a look at this leaf and look how the label actually created a mark on the leaf. The wider part is really rough to the touch. Also, I have the black spots, again, sunburns. I also discovered some webbing on my orchids. Don't worry, this type of webbing is normal spider webbing. Spider mites create very fine webs and you can mostly find them on the underside of the leaf. So my orchids are pretty okay. Let's go back to the flower spike and check for more pests. Usually aphids and mealybugs will be found on the flower spike, at the joints of the buds and at the joints of the flowers. So look behind the petals and also inside the flower and see if you see anything white or fluffy or anything moving. My orchids seem to be quite clean and I'm really happy, although I will keep them quarantined for at least a month. I will also check them with my digital microscope, but I really think they are okay. But still, quarantining orchids before you introduce them with your other plants is a must. And I've discovered that the hard way. Don't do the same mistake as I did. Quarantine your orchids in a separate room if you can for at least a month. This way you will be able to see if there's anything wrong with your orchids or if they have pests you might have missed. 
So for now, I will actually keep my orchids as they are and make sure they stay hydrated. I will not repot them just yet because the medium doesn't smell bad and also I don't see a lot of roots rotting in the pot. Although pretty soon I will repot them even if they will still have flowers and buds. They look like they have quite a lot of buds on the way. But that will be for a different video. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a rating and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more orchid videos from me. Feel free to leave me comments, suggestions or questions you might have in the comment section below. I always read them and I always respond. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thanks for joining, I'll see you next time. Bye!